James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is June 12th, 2023, 1 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen a disturbance on our electromagnetic field here. We see spikes going up over 100 hertz up to about only 200 hertz. What does this mean for our Schumann resonance? Well, what this means is for about the last three to three and a half hours, we've had substantial spiking on the Schumann resonance. Now, I'm not going to go as far as to say that these are off the chart, although these are very strong Schumann resonance spikes. Started just before 1600 UTC time when we had the incursion on our electromagnetic field. You can see the geophones hit on top and we're continuing into that event mode or event horizon currently. Now we don't know where we're going to go from here, but I will keep you updated. All right, last night UTC time we had a heck of a hit most all day or at least half the day yesterday, we got hit by heavy Schumann resonance. That actually turned out turning into today from, well, 0 UTC time to about 3.30 UTC time. We got hit really hard. Now, these hits are off the charts as these charts only go up to 50 hertz. Now, we can see from about 3.30 UTC time, until about 15.30 UTC time, we had a break. Now we're spiking again, again, off of the charts on this model that end at 50 hertz. These spikes are not as strong as what we saw yesterday or even as strong as what we saw this morning, but they're still substantial. So these are our hourly geophone strips. This is this morning early, as we talked about to right around 3 UTC time. So just about perfectly. That was a really good call. What we have up top is we're missing 1,600, 1,800, and 19 hours. So we have the start of about a three and a half hour plus spiking of the Schumann residence. We just don't have those hourly strips past 1,600 UTC time which would obviously be 17, 18, and 1900 UTC time, which have occurred. I don't know why this is not updated a little bit further. Now, as we talked about, here you can see, here's 1500, and we start to spike up. And this is 1800. Looks like we take a dive at 1800. We have to... Uh, really figure that out because I don't see any dive on the Schumann resonance here. So we had three more hours of substantial Schumann spiking. You can see that yesterday's substantial spiking moved over until today till about 3.30 just as we talked about. So all of our modeling equipment picked it up. Our geophones, our ULF noise equipment, our ELF noise equipment and our second as our frequency. So it's real, and it's happening. CERN is not on whatsoever, according to what we see here. No beam before 1 a.m. Now, are they not using UTC time all the time? Uh, sudden, very strange. All right, jumping over. Uh... Obviously, we're not in any type of space weather event. We do have an uptick in solar winds all up to about, let's see, 480, 483 here. Maybe a little bit higher. 484. Uh, that started the day out at about 440, 430, and went up to 484. We had some coral holes earth facing, but those seem like they're awful long time ago. Uh, I don't see any plasma that exceeds 10 centimeters cubed, which is our space weather threshold. And temperatures normal all day long. We don't see any crossovers whatsoever up here. 
I'm just thinking, folks, that uh, there is no space weather that contributed to our electromagnetic field being hit or our Schumann resonance spiking off the chart either. With that said, I'm definitely ready to correlate these spikes with something. I need a perfect correlation, and I'd love to find out what is causing these spikes. I want y'all to remember that the Schumann resonance was never recorded over 37 hertz until 2019. That's the reason these charts don't really go above 40 and 50 in most instances. You're looking again at the Schumann resonance spikes that started around 15.30 UTC time. That is right about 9.30 this morning. Central time here in the U.S. You can adjust that if you're on the East Coast or West Coast. And <clears throat> they might have taken a dive about 1800, but it looks like they're back at it after that. We will keep you updated. Please let us know if uh, these spikes affect you. And if so, how they affect you. Uh, is it physically? Uh, is it physiological? Is it... Uh, a headache? Is it pressure? Are you tired? Now, these are the things that I hear so often. For me, I become very lethargic, tired, and uh, let's just say I'm not on point. Probably the best way to describe it. That said, God bless you and yours. Share and subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in the bizarre world.